Right, welcome to your dream and his interpretation. And how are you doing today? I'm sure we have a good time in God's presence. All right, I'm glad to be here to handle the dreams that you have sent to me very quickly. I'll be doing that. And uh, don't forget, if this is the first time you're watching this channel, try to subscribe to this channel. It's about dreams and interpretation. You have dream bothering you? Drop it at the comment section. And at my free time, I will attend to it. Three rules. Number one, tell me your name. Two, where you are sending your dream from and number three make your dream brief in other words summarize your dream so you can save me of time okay good i'll be going on quickly today and uh a lot of dreams i'm not sure i'll be able to handle all of them today but uh i'll try to do my best and if i didn't take your own today please just hold on in the subsequent episodes i'll take that i got some of you through my whatsapp some through the youtube and then some through mail all right um I begin with the first one today, and that's the one that came from Ezita Kulu, something Kulu from South Africa. You say, Dugu de Pastor, I love your channel. I just started watching it. And I had this dream bothering me. I saw a lot of dogs surround me at the same time, barking, barking at me and wanting to bite me when I woke up. Please help me out. All right, uh, is it Makulu or so from South Africa? Now, this dream you saw a lot of do dogs surrounding you and then barking at you has to do with you being very careful. This is a critical sign that uh, you are going to be faced with a lot of criticism, okay? Uh, people are prepared. The enemies are prepared to actually criticize you. So, I need to advise you to really watch your ways and make sure whatever you do is right, okay? Do the right thing. When you do right thing, you don't fear criticism, okay? So, that's actually what your dream is talking about, okay? People want to criticize you. People are ready to fight you over some issues. But if your hands are clean, you get nothing to fear. So, please try to keep your hands clean. That's why you saw those dogs barking and barking at you. Spirit of criticism and as passion is coming to fight you. So, be careful. That's your dream uh, all the way from South Africa. All right. I picked the next dream and that is from India. The next dream is from India and that is Lovelin. Lovelin Isha. Lovely Isha, you send your dream from in there and you said, Hi, Pastor. I just saw a very terrifying dream. In my dream, I saw a huge storm comes from a few seconds and the wall of my maternal grandmother's house started collapsing. I see things, uh, books, uh, broken window glasses and uh, flying due to speedy wind and a very important document having my name on it flying towards me, but I catch it. Okay, now after the storm, I will, I'm in my grandmother's room and I see... My sister, cousin, brother, and aunt, maternal grandma's daughter-in-law, aunt, uh, start crying, but she pulls herself up, and she does it this, and uh, the last standing wall of the grandmother's room also collapsed, and the floor flip up, and uh, from one side, uh, they shook all of us, and then we managed to stand erect, and we talk about building strong new walls. The dream end. Okay, uh, Loveling from India. Your dream is a bit long, but I think the summary of your dream is actually a very terrible storm coming against your family. You are to pray so you don't lose somebody very powerful. Somebody, when I say powerful, somebody very influential, a pillar of your family, somebody sustaining the family. You need to pray that uh, you don't lose that person. That's what this dream is saying. The, the devil is trying to really crash down completely your family. You want to crack down on your family, especially someone who matters a lot to that family that will leave all of you in a very vulnerable state. So you need to pray against that attack coming on your family and God will help you. And don't also forget there that uh, if that happened, a very big responsibility will fall on you. That is the document you start flying with your name on it and coming towards you that you catch. That is talking about a very big responsibility will fall upon you. Once somebody very mighty in your family died from this dream, Big responsibility will come on you. So you need to prepare your way and pray so that you can overcome that challenge. All right? God bless you. Loveling all the way from India. That is your dream. Okay? The next one is from Faith. Faith is from Nigeria. You said, I had a dream this morning where uh, I was trying to cross. Okay, I saw a man trying to cross a border of a country but was sent back by the security of the border. While he left, I saw myself inspecting a new school building project by the government in a unique way with little amount of money i appreciate the project i was still in that same dream i saw myself in a family friend house for a visit a woman was introduced to me as my state woman i was told she could go with me whenever i'm leaving though i was not too excited about that and not so sad also the last segment 
was full family at the border trying to cross, but the security there didn't allow them to pass. So please help me unravel this mystery. All right, this dream is actually a very unique message, and this message here has to do with powers and forces trying to control a territory and then stopping, uh, trying to stop you and your family from crossing to the next level. But I'm sure that devil is a liar, okay? That's what the first part of this dream and the last part of this dream stands for. You're trying to cross to the next level. Your family is trying to cross to the next level and the devil is trying to frustrate it. The person you first thought they had to do with somebody important in your family that want to cross and the devil is trying to block them from crossing but i'm sure with god those barriers can be dealt with and then the project you saw that built by the government uh, i think this is god showing you something from the heavens from the government here represent the heaven is going to build something great for you and that will be achieved by wisdom that is with little resources a great thing to be achieved god is showing you here that i am going to do something great something uh, like a big project for you and with little resources you will achieve it okay so it's a very fantastic one and then while crossing to the next level from this dream all this dream here you're trying to cross to the next level you have to be careful who cross with you that's why you went to a family and then they told you somebody from your town or whatever trying to go with you but you're not excited about it so be careful the people that cross with you so you don't cross with the wrong people because sometimes when god is trying to bless you all kinds of people want to come into your life you might likely pick wrong people which can affect your next level so watch and be very careful the kind of people you cross with so you don't get betrayers along with you god bless you that's your dream faith from nigeria all right i pick the next one i became from london you said a happy weekend or oh, thank you and uh, you said you had a, a dream all right and uh, i recently had a dream that i saw a friend whom i have seen for almost 20 years and she gave me five you is it okay is it five three five euro notes and several gifts I was pleasantly surprised. Also, I dreamed where I saw my hair looking younger and more lustrous uh, than it is in real life. Please, Pastor, help me understand this dream. All right, the two dreams here are really pointing towards one thing, and that is favor. Uh, the first aspect of your dream is that God is going to remember you uh, a labor of many years. That is something you have done in the past, of course, similar to the dream I interpreted earlier. Something you have done in the past, God will reward you for it. It might not be the real friend you are seeing, but it's just like a parable. So God is going to bring something from the past that you have done and that will be rewarded, okay? A reward is coming for a particular thing you did in the past. That's the first aspect of your dream. And number seven, uh, that is the second part of your dream, is that you are going to have what is called a refreshing experience. God has a refreshing experience in mind for you. God is going to do something that will refresh you, okay? And favor you and make you really smile. So that is a wonderful dream, okay? God bless you, Abike, all the way from London. That is your dream, okay? And uh, the next dream is uh, Lizzie from Nigeria. Also, you say, good day, sir. Please help me understand this dream. I had a dream, and in that dream, someone sent me a package, and this package contained beautiful dresses, though I didn't open the remaining package, which I was told belonged to my late cousin sister, but I was told she left them for me. So I tried on and gave some which are not my side to my mom and then a lady was standing beside me okay this dream is similar to the dream i just finished interpreting now lizzie your dream also has to do with a favor relative to your past okay late cousin that is something that has happened in the past something a bad experience in the past pain experience painful experience in the past but god is trying to reward you for that experience there's something that was wrong in your past something that was so painful in the past but this time around god is out to reward you okay for that painful experience you went through so that is your dream okay uh, Lizzie from Nigeria. God bless you. All right. Uh, I picked the next dream. Debra. Is it Debra? Debra, this is your dream. You said uh, an old family friend came. We call her liar because she lies a lot. And then she was pregnant as well with dark spots in her face. And all ladies in the room had dark spots in their face. And we are pregnant too. I wasn't comfortable, wanted to go home, especially with the way that friend called lies was acting. I suddenly see myself in a car, backseat, and the liar lady was in the front with someone else driving. That liar lady took a bottle and then of water and poured it on the floor. It almost touched me. I was uh, wearing slippers and all that, I mean, yellow sandals and all that, and uh, I was indecisive uh, to come out. Then I saw myself with my baby, named Star, you know, who was smiling at me a few months ago. I mean, a few months old baby finally out of the car. I came out of the car and left them suddenly when I saw the baby smiling and having do or wisdom teeth. I freaked out and was thinking about going to the dentist with the baby. Wow. Your dream is a bit lengthy, but the summary of your dream place is this. you got to be careful with relationships that are not good for you. There are some relationships that are false. I mean, I'm talking about false people who are very false, dubious. I mean, 
trying to you know form a basis of relationship with you you must be careful who you relate with otherwise you are going to be victim of such circumstance so god is showing you in that dream get out of the midst of people who are evil all right people who are evil who are trying to be your friends by force don't force yourself on such kind of people get out of it the bible said bad communication corrupt good manner all right walk out of wrong relationships walk out of bad friends get out of the way of people who are not helping you in life people who who try to corrupt your values okay on the corrupt that's why you see them with dark spots people who are blemish okay so try to avoid that okay so that you can live long and i see you having great purpose from the baby in the dream name star you have a great star that is what your dream is saying here you have a dream star and for you to be able to sustain that star and to achieve what you need to achieve very fast and awesomely you must walk out of some relationships that are not helping you okay friends that are going nowhere friends that are very full of deception walk out of their ways and then you'll be able to achieve and get to where god is taking you otherwise you get corrupted by the thing you saw the splash that will have spoiled your yellow shoe god bless you that's your dream uh debra okay i hope i've done justice to that the next one is uh from uh dublin that's coyote you say i fly a lot these days in my dream with several bees hovering around me but uh, they didn't sting me before i wake up all right uh uh coyote from dublin you must be careful because this is a clear indication that god is trying to move you to the next phase of your life but a lot of enemies will surround you to try to frustrate you but god is going to keep you they won't succeed on you anytime you are rising remember that enemies also want to come against you all right so try to be very smart and careful so the enemies will not get you down your promotion is coming very soon and the wicked will not get you down that is your dream all right uh very quickly my time is up and uh, let me see uh, uh and that is do is it doniel or so doniel from california doniel from california you say hey i had a dream that i had a kind of stick and some crowded places and i will wave the stick downward to the ground and uh, it will make a line and there will be a rock with a lot of heat coming down from the sky and as i was doing this a guy from um, harry potter came at me with a purple is a pentagram drawn a, on the ground beneath him and all that and i waved my stick on the ground i made a line the robot it did not come immediately but when the guy came from the portals i started to charge at me and uh, that's when they came all right but uh then somehow after after that there's just old white lady and somehow we became friends what does this mean well your dream is a bit lengthy like i said it takes my time a lot but uh the summary of your dream here is that you have a gift in your life. There is a very unique gift in your life that you have to use. That gift has divine backing, heaven's backing. But something is trying to distract you from using your gift. That is what I'm saying in this dream. Never let anything distract you from using your gift. Because once you allow distraction, it's going to affect you. All right? Use your gift correctly that God has put in you. That's why the thing generates heat from the sky. And that is talking about heaven's backing. It is God who gave you that gift. Use that gift. Use it to touch the uh, touch the life of people. And that gift will help you. And through that, you will have what is called great connection. You will fall into great relationship. That is what happened a white old white lady. That is God using your gift to connect you to people. But don't let anything distract you from these dreams. You know, you're trying to look at somebody else and then you get distracted until you look at that person before you are able to perform. So don't be distracted. Don't look yourself or don't look down on yourself. Use whatever gift God has given you and it will bring you, the Bible says, the gift of a man make rooms and bring it before great people. So that gift will bring you before great people. So that is your dream. Please make good use of it and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. All right, the final one I will take today and stop. Uh, te, is it Teboho? Teboho Mothobi. Teboho Mothobi and that is from South Africa. You said, I had a dream whereby two prophets of God were praying for me interchangeably and it was so intense that when i woke up i literally was shaking all right this is a clear indication that your life need prayer your life need intercession so make sure you continue to seek god in prayer and not only that also god has a lot he want to do with you it's a sign that god want to use something to use you to accomplish something in life so make sure you submit yourself to god and god will use you mightily and his grace will be upon your life and it shall be well with you the anointing of the lord shall be on you thank you very much for watching this way i will stop today because of time all right i see you in my next episode don't forget subscribe to this channel all right and then like the video okay drop your comment very important let me know if this program is a blessing to you all right and for those of you are my partners i appreciate you from all over the world who are supporting my ministry god bless you you can be my partner reach out to me through the number on the whatsapp in the description column god bless you so much i love you and i see you again in the subsequent episode don't forget knowing what your dream means is vital to your safety bye for now i am paul s joshua